Whether you have thousands or millions of code lines running in production, it is often challenging to find the ones that are slowing down your application or increasing your resource utilization and cloud cost, which can result in long reproduction times. Meet Datadog Continuous Profiler, which is an always-on code profiler that analyzes your entire code base across all production hosts with minimal overhead and detects your most time-consuming and resource-intensive lines of code. This is the overview page, which was designed to provide a quick high-level glance into the performance of your application code. You can immediately see how much CPU each of your services is consuming and how it affects your cloud provider's bill, including how these numbers changed compared to the previous week. For the purpose of this demo, let's focus on the product recommendation service, which makes up around 10% of your total CPU usage and see if we can find areas of optimization in your code. The Profiler Flame Graph visualizes all the methods in the stack trace of this service. In this case, I'm looking at CPU consumption, but I can easily switch to other profile types such as CPU cost, memory, wall time, logs, exceptions, IO, and more. The top bar represents the total time the code of this service spent on CPU across all threads and hosts in your selected time range. Each bar below represents one method or function and the width of the bars represent the time it ran on CPU out of the total time. The leaf bars are the ones you want to focus on first because they represent the functions that are running directly on CPU. The summary tables on the right sort all your endpoints and all your methods by their CPU time to quickly detect expensive bottlenecks and prioritize your optimization efforts. By clicking on one of them, you can see the flame graph associated with it, like the one for get train endpoint here. You can also summarize by top classes, packages, or threads. You can zoom in on any one of them. I'm going to focus on code that I wrote myself and collapse standard libraries, which I don't have much control over. The leaf bars here represent the standard library code, but you may find optimization opportunities in compute coefficients on feature method that you wrote. From here, using Datadog's source code integration, I can directly jump into the exact line of code in my repo that spent the most time on CPU in this method, literally the smoking gun. Another profile type that can help you optimize resource consumption and cloud costs is allocated memory. The flame graph and the summary table change accordingly to reflect the memory that was allocated by the methods of your service in the given time frame. Just like any other Datadog product, you can easily slice and dice your data without having to learn a complex query language. You can change the time range to investigate outages that happened a few hours ago, and you can also focus on a specific process, host, container, version, or any other tag. Datadog also helps inexperienced engineers or even seasoned ones that are new to code profiling to gain immediate value. Watchdog, Datadog's AI engine, surfaces insights that are contextual to your query and time range, meaning they are specific to your investigation. By clicking on an insight, like this log contention one, anyone on your team can easily understand the issue, its impact, and how to resolve it using our remediation suggestions. Insights cover a wide range of issues, such as deadlock threads, garbage collection, regex compilation, and others. If you are new to code profiling, you can take advantage of the guided walkthrough to get value more quickly. To summarize what we have seen so far, Continuous Profiler helps you identify the most resource-consuming and most costly services in your production environment, while also surfacing more granular insights on potential optimization opportunities in your code base. When combined with Datadog APM, Continuous Profiler can also help reduce application latency and improve end-user experience. For every microservice, APM provides a service page, which is a central hub for all telemetry coming from across Datadog products for seamless correlations and faster troubleshooting. With the automatic deployment tracking capabilities, you can compare any code version to previous ones across red metrics, Kubernetes metrics, and also code profiling metrics. For example, if you see that your new version is consuming more CPU than the previous one, I can compare the two using the profile comparison feature. Here, I can see two profiles of the two versions side by side, and the colors can easily let me know if any methods now consume more CPU time than before, or if I was able to optimize parts of my code. Red methods consume more CPU, and green methods consume less. 
purple ones are near to version B and blue ones used to be in version A and no longer show in version B. You can also use the comparison view for A-B testing or to compare performance across different time ranges, environments, regions, pods, and more. The comparison is available for all profile types and not just CPU. Sometimes, a slow endpoint can be the reason for high latency of an entire service. Just like in this case, where the get train endpoint has a very high P99 latency, so I'm going to investigate. You can further investigate this issue by looking at related traces. Here, I see all those high latency traces for this endpoint and I'll go ahead and click on one of them. This is the classic Datadog flame graph, which represents the end-to-end -end execution path of a single request across multiple microservices. Below the flame graph, I can seamlessly correlate the trace with all other types of telemetry, such as infrastructure metrics, logs, and network data. But sometimes, it can still be challenging to explain why a request was slow or why a specific span or service within the request took a long time. Let's click on one of these long green spans from the get train endpoint and look into code hotspots to understand not only which methods were the slowest, but also what they spent time on. I can clearly see that 11.9 seconds of the time my code spent on CPU and 1.77 seconds were spent on socket IO. In this case, we can see right away that model training compute coefficient method took the longest to run. I can also see the full reverse stack trace to see the method call tree. You can start resolving the issue by navigating to the line of code causing the latency in one click. For multi-threaded spans, you can get thread level context and identify opportunities of optimization using the thread timeline view, which is unique to Datadog. You can see that this request spent some time on garbage collection while processing, meaning the runtime added extra latency that is unrelated to the request itself. Here, your threads were not processing the request in parallel, as one worker had to wait for the other to finish processing before resuming. This helps you identify how your parallelization is performing. Finally, by selecting any portion of your CPU time, you can see which methods ran during that time frame, helping you isolate particularly long methods and potentially build a custom span out of it. In the second part of the demo, you have seen how Continuous Profiler integrates seamlessly with APM and distributed tracing to help you reduce application latency that impacts your user's experience. Overall, Continuous Profiler helps you accelerate mean time to resolution, lower your resource consumption and cloud cost, and reduce application latency, all at the service, endpoint, and individual request level. So try Continuous Profiler today with a free two-week trial or by following instructions in the Datadog app. Thank you for watching.